Our first stop was Girraween National Park near the border with New South Wales. On went the packs and boots for the first hike to Castle Rock. The huge granite rocks of this area are amazing. Next day we went the opposite direction to yesterday's hike following Bald Rock Creek to its junction with Ramsey Creek where their waters eventually flow on to join the Murray-Darling Basin. After a few more overnight camps we arrived at Gad's Bend on the Murray River just over the border into Victoria. This is one of the best free camps we've stayed in. We first stayed here in 2017 and it hasn't changed at all. The large grassy area along the river is lined with big river red gums and reflecting perfectly in the swiftly flowing waters. And the morning mist on the river at sunrise just looks so peaceful and beautiful. Well, we made our way via Jindabyne to Kosciuszko National Park and tackled the main range walk starting from Charlotte Pass. This is a 22 kilometre circuit around the most beautiful alpine country in Australia. We decided to carry full packs in preparation for the overland track and set off on a very cool and windy day. The track descended quickly to the snowy river crossing which proved to be very tricky carrying our heavy packs. The path climbed for a kilometre or two and started to provide magnificent alpine views. Our first stop was on the side trip to the Blue Lake. Fortunately the weather was fine because you can often miss these views when cloud and mist spoils the view. The path was an assortment of uneven rock tiles, some plastic netting and rocks. Our hiking poles were invaluable to lighten our loads and maintain balance. The track eventually wound its way south towards Mount Kosciuszko. This section was an extensive elevated walkway that fringed Lake Albina where we stopped for lunch. We reckon it was the best cafe in the world. Then it was off to Mount Kosciuszko, the top of Australia. Back down to the main range circuit and Rawson Pass where it was time to head back to Charlotte Pass. Back over the snowy river again, except it was a lot easier this time. Only a kilometre to go, and we were very tired by this stage. One kilometre to go. Yay! We were certainly relieved to see Harvey again, and enjoy a well-earned rest. The last leg of our mainland trip was destination Geelong to catch the spirit of Tasmania to Devonport. On the way we walked the Myrtle Valley circuit about 60 kilometres northwest of Melbourne. Terminus um, in Geelong. We've just come down the um, the night before we sail because we want to check out to see what it's like, where to go, how long it's going to take us to get here, etc. Make sure that boat is seaworthy for us tomorrow, and the terminal. And there's plenty of vehicles in the uh, in the car park ready to uh, ready to go for this, this evening sail. But. Uh, that's, that's still another four hours away, so you can line up early by the looks of it. Looks um, good. 
Anyway, we're going to go over to the cafe now and have our try out the coffee, which yep. I believe is quite nice. Okay. And um, then we'll go back and find a camp for the night and be back here first thing in the morning. Sure. See ya. So early next morning, we were first in the queue. The voyage was pretty calm with uh, recliner seats and a buffet lunch available. So we just sat back and read books and looked at our tablets waiting for the trip to end. Tasmania. 